Hi, I'm Dr. Fiona Caldwell and I'm at home answering some questions from Pets Best Facebook page. This question is from Sarah. She writes, my cat Sid is almost 14 and he keeps vomiting hairballs. I know he's getting old and he's on KD and boiled chicken only, but is there anything else I can do to help him? He's purring all the time and loves life. KD is a special diet that's formulated for kidney disease in cats, so I imagine Sid's probably suffering some kidney disease. I would make sure that his vomiting isn't actually related to progression of his kidney disease and really is related to hairballs. If he hasn't been looked over by your veterinarian recently, you, you might want to look into that. If it truly is hairballs, you can try grooming him. Brush him daily, that'll help get some of the hair off so that he's ingesting less and therefore throwing up less hairballs. Depending on how long his coat is and what his temperament is, you could consider shaving him as well. Some cats hate it and sh shouldn't be shaved. Other cats don't mind it. It could be a way to keep his hairballs down. The next one comes from Joyce. I know that glucosamine is a good choice for a mild luxating patella in my Yorkie. Should I give vitamin C as well? Uh, luxating patella is a condition that Yorkies and other small dogs can be prone to where the kneecap will pop out and it can predispose them to arthritis and so glucosamine is a great idea to help uh, keep the joints as comfortable as possible. Vitamin C probably wouldn't necessarily help with arthritis. There has been some evidence that things like omega fatty acids and other uh, antioxidants can be good in general. It's probably not going to hurt to give vitamin C, but it's not necessarily going to help with a luxating patella.